Hey guys, uh, two, three, four days came, uh, went by working on the rear struts. Remember, I gotta make them fit. So, this is what I got going on this the slide hammer, 10 pound slide hammer. One lug nut here just to hold the knuckle down because remember, this side is still connected to all the different control arms, uh, sway bar link, and all that good stuff. I got the new strut in, well, just, you know, kind of in there. And here we can see what I still got to do. So I did a bit of drilling out all three holes. And I still got ways to go. You can see this one is way off. You can't even, well, I can see it kind of. There you go, you can kind of see it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out, the strut again, and then basically drill out evenly every single one out you know each way it, each one out to where the washer ends you can see or the you know the old bolt and that should give me more or less the space that i need now you still you do need to drill out each one don't just be doing one like this side, this one for example because this needs to be centered okay you can kind of see trying to get the right angle you see that now, if I were to keep on, uh, or actually drilling this on, this one out th that way, then this would not clear the the strut, the, the body over here. So they need to be drilled out evenly. And this is what I'm, what I'm using. It's kind of dull, but that's all I got. And, uh, you know, it's working slowly, but it, it's, it's working. And I gotta be super careful. I mean, this is, there's a, a lot of sh sharp edges. I nearly cut myself five times. I mean, even even my legs, you know, there, my hands here. This job is hazardous, I gotta tell you. All right, here we go again. As you can see, still got a little bit to go. Now, this is almost, I, this needs to still go inside towards the inside so i'm going to keep on drilling here and here let me show you the finished product check it out i actually spent about two minutes extra two minutes on looking for these rusty washers so you know the car kind of accepts it doesn't think that it's foreign objects and this is the bottom now i can tell you one thing that these struts are a little bit wider here so meaning the knuckle on the newer impressas is a little bit fatter which is no biggie and you know the bolt just squeezes it no issues there so this is it rear left officially done nice and did remove the the top deck material thing the drilling out was just so much easier i actually started drilling from the inside uh, right up there you could do it no issues just it's just a little bit easier from up top the drill fit right in in between the the glass and the bottom here all right some progress got some stuff kyb 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 made in usa they usually are made in the usa or japan you do sometimes see them made in, you know, you know, you know where. So let's see. Get out. Ha, huh, got the right side. Nice. Okay, let's compare. So these are from the 06 Impreza. All right, let's see. KYB, XLG, the better KYBs. And this says, do not open. No, okay. Made in USA, all right, we're good. So basically what needs to happen, we need to switch. And this one has, well, they both do, 54,000 on them. So top heads are in pretty good shape. Problem with this one is that it's bent right here. But you know, that's the strut, obviously. All right, guys, if you're doing something like this get yourself one of these this is the mcpherson strut spring compression 
compressor compressor set by Maddox. Good stuff from Harbor Freight, but it's actually pretty good. I've been using it for, I don't know, two, three years now, and no sign of sudden failure. This might not be enough. Okay, right. Come on now. Okay. Could be a little tricky here. Hmm. That's obviously not enough. There we go. 19 sometimes the top mount will be in the way of the socket so you got to switch it you know play around with it okay so that's good and the others the other side just gonna For this one, hopefully, this side will be enough. Okay. Get up. Yeah, okay, it's fine. Probably too much because it's resting on here. I actually squashed it a little bit. We may have trouble putting it back on the new one. We shall see. So now we can take off the top nut. Nut and mount. That's it. There's a bearing inside. That's why it turns. Sometimes these these cheap online uh, quick struts, you know, uh, like a full assembly. If you want to replace it on your car and you want to go cheap, sometimes even Rock Auto, usually Amazon and stuff like that. They don't the the ones on the on the front. They will not even have bearings inside inside the mounts. They only have like kind of washers, even plastic washers, and they, they go bad in, in a few weeks. Guys, just stay away. Okay, get KYB, even some, I don't know, Monroe's or uh, Duralist, you know, stuff like that. Just stay away from, from online cheap, cheap stuff. Okay, you should probably pay for a whole assembly, maybe 150 bucks, that, that's the cheapest. I mean, absolutely cheapest from a store. Online you can get them for 50 bucks. Stay away from those because you're, you're, just, you're just asking for trouble and you're going to be spending money twice. Remember, also got to do alignment after a job like this. All right, mount. Some kind of washers. I like to just put these in order. Okay. Face down. Keep the... The, the, the rubber the dust thing bump stop and is the, the spring oh, new guy oh forgot something I think nope I thought there was a, a a rubber piece on the bottom but no there isn't so there's a special spot for the end of the spring. Hopefully this fits over the tool. Nice, okay, this is actually, could be a little smaller. All right. Bump stop. Dust shield cover. Uh, this, and I'm sure there's a name for this guy. Put it down in the, in the comments if you know the name of this. This part. Washer. Mount. And Zanat. That's, I'm sure of it, it's a different size. Of course, it's a 19, no longer a 17. 
Okay, now we need to align everything. Especially this guy, the spring is angled, remember. So it's not going to be that easy. I have to undo that knot a little bit. You can see the old spring was here. Come on, now work with me. And tight should be good for to uncompress the spring check the rubber if it's not pinching pinched anywhere okay we're good I'm gonna check my work. Okay, now that the top nut, I know, you know, torque it down if you want to. I, I never do. What I do is I grab onto the, the the strut. I'm holding it so I can feel if it spins or not. Sometimes it will spin. Usually old ones. If you're trying to take the nut out, they will spin inside. So this is just to tell me when I'm done. Once I'm done, but usually just you know all the way. You don't want these coming loose. Usually the the torque on these are probably about 60, around 60-ish, at least on coilovers. On these could be more. We did scratch it up a little. There's just no way around it. But no play here. This one is ready to get installed. So because this is rated for a heavier vehicle, I think I mentioned that before which is the 06 Impreza and it's going on the 01 RS the 300 pound difference should make that car the RS sit higher and have a stiffer suspension obviously so as you can see this strut is in ABS line is in where's ABS sensor line not that it matters because it doesn't work ABS so I'm pretty much done, except one thing, one thing, the brake holes, it's different. This old style had this kind of clip, and now you shove this in here and you drive the clip in and you're done. Not in my case, it just, it won't work. No, and this is important fellas okay you know snow ice whatever gets in here may break this loose and you're gonna have a, a flopping around brake line brake hose not good it may break so I was thinking I'm just kidding guys, okay? Two zip ties should be plenty. No joke. So that's already clean. So just clean this out from old grease. Got some new grease. I'm gonna apply and then we're gonna turn our attention to the the CV joint which has a a pin like this that dries through that Whatever you call that thing. Actually, those do not come out. Sometimes they, they do. Uh, there is either a circlip on the inside of the transmission, or sometimes they do actually come out. I don't know what years now. I have no idea. And the way to install these, as you can see, this is the this end goes into the transmission. Once you obviously you gotta you know point it in the right direction, so you can drive this pin right through. 
and one end is tapered the other is flat see this this goes in first and this secures the drive shaft or the CV axle from coming out that's pretty much it for this one all right let's put some music on and speed through this struggle actually pulling the knuckle towards the, the strut here the top bolt hole I was actually using a slide hammer because it's longer I can I could have you know attached it to here and basically lift it and I had help my wife put the bolt through and that was it I did take the back plate <laughs> out <laughs> that's it really still gotta do alignment you know Align it a little bit. So the steering wheel is straight. And now that I look at it, I don't gotta do squat. I'm gonna leave it like that. Just tighten up this nut here. This is a 19, both sides. And this is pretty much done. Well, yeah, still gotta obviously tighten these up.